<laughs> Welcome everybody to the galaxy. What's the name of the game? Donkey Kong Country Returns. What's my name? Super Mario Galaxy Bro. Before we dive into the show, one thing that you can do to help me, you, and others, and help me to bring you more of the content that you enjoy, is to interact with my channel. Whether that be a like, subscribe, comment, share, even a dislike I learned recently, or sticking around a little while longer, it all helps us out a great deal. So thank you so much for your support, your feedback. Um, my mission is to bring the most joy that I can to the most people, or at least like some sort of relaxation break. Um, whether that be through my voice, my jokes, my fun facts, I'm just hoping to give you a little break from the day to day. Hoping that you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's let's dive into the video. I was experiencing some technical difficulties when starting. So we'll see what happens. Right now it seems to be okay. Seems to be loading everything nicely, which is good. We're almost to our boss. Crumble Canyon sounds dangerous. I do got a fun fact for you about that violet color. It's reminded me of our Sunday shout out to the Violet Hour, aka Bellissium. I do link. Oh, I do hear something be crumbling. I do link all of uh, my shout outs in the description in case you're looking for them or didn't know that. Okay, nothing there. Um, but somewhere... Okay. Even the enemies can't handle this level. I would call that a steroid. Uh oh. Somewhere between <laughs> the sky and the earth. The light and the darkness. There lies a wonderful period of time. This is almost like her theme song. By Asher Sly. Um, there is a time period somewhere between spooky blue and deep purple where some things go bump in the night and others come out for hugs and cuddles <laughs> but go check her out cause that place is known as the Violet Hour Kinda like the Twilight Zone. She's into she's into spooky stuff, which is cool. Um, and her channel, a lot of um, big games, Nintendo type stuffs. Okay. Okay. Keep in mind this game is for children. Probably shouldn't be struggling with it. I, 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 at a loss for words at the moment. I think Donkey Kong can wall jump, can No. So I was thinking if I were Mario, I probably would have survived that one. I just feel bad for the kids that are playing this game. Um, 
What was I thinking? I lost my thought. Unbelievable. Where's the pig gonna- I guess the pig will pop up probably right here. The Super Kong, we're probably gonna need Super Kong to swoop in and say the day I won't be watching this level because it's ridiculous. Might watch it later. But I've also got a, a fun fact and an audience to think about Donkey Kong. what we did wrong there. Always open to your feedback and your advice. Let's go roll. We're almost on world 6 and we only have world 7 and 8 I believe. Um, so also just trying to enjoy it. So I do like kind of the... DK is one of my favorite characters. Uh, if it weren't for Supercon, I would not still be playing this game, so I think that that's probably why Supercon made it into this game. Ah. Ah. I just say, I don't know what to say. I just, there's nothing I'm intentionally doing. There you are. Alright. Alright, you know what? We have one more life. Let's give it one more try. Okay. Ready? Whee! Alright, alright. Again, I, I do respect my audience and their time, so the fact that they build this feature into it, and that you all like to watch the Donkey Kong. We'll see how it's done, and I'll read you a little fun fact. Which was certainly fun for me. Um, oh, I, hold on. Let's see if we can get to the fun fact before the level ends. Somehow went to the top of the fun fact list. And I did it again. What is going on here? Where's your fun fact? I forget who said it, but someone said hooray, more Donkey Kong. I know I saw Bizarre Breaks. I like the fact that I called it a game for children, I believe. <laughs> I think it's rated E for everyone. Okay, your fun fact. She sells seashells by the seashore, which I think is a tongue twister, and I thought was made up, but it was actually written about a female paleontologist from the 1800s. She actually sold Dinosaur bones and fossilized shells. So I thought that that was very interesting. Alright, what, what happened here? Where are we? I'm rejoining you at the level now. Which 
trying to remember who said hooray more Donkey Kong. I might be able to look at the comment while we're enjoying this. Oh, that looks fun. That looks like a fun... They can make a whole Donkey Kong amusement park. As long as we don't have to play through it and it's safe. I think it'd be fun. in the comments and maybe I'll, I'll ping your comment. If I remember. But thanks for being here. We'll go ahead and let it load the next one up. And I think we're gonna need a cranky restock too. Blah. Oh, where are you going? It's not over yet. That's how they get you. Tippy shippy. Tippy shippy. Alright, let's do your cranky restart. Looks like we had a couple more levels. Excuse me, I'm itching myself. On my head. Itching my hair. There we go. Looks like you're running low on balloons, kid. Here's a gift to help you on your way. Love, Cranky. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Cranky. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. And, uh... <laughs> Did you hear that? I was like, hmm. And hopefully we'll, uh, we'll Super Mario Galaxy back here super soon. Take care and have a good one, everyone.